Hi, I'm Todd. I'm a customer service rep. I don't understand why anyone would wear real pants when sweatpants exist. Like any customer service rep, unfortunately, I have to deal with rude, ignorant, or outright stupid people. This makes me angry. My customers say things like this. How long is your 30-day return policy? How much does the free shipping cost? I asked my last customer what his favorite color was. He said beef. Much to my dismay, with customers I have to be polite, charming, and exhibit the patience of Hillary Clinton waiting to win a beauty contest. I really look the part. Hatred with a forced smile, the boy band headset, and the cubicle of disappointing life choices. I am customer service dude. My motto is, this job would be great if it wasn't for the customers. Do you have customers? Then you need live help now. Turning disgruntled customer service workers like me into saints since 2003. Hi, I'm Todd. I'm customer service dude, and customers make me angry. You try to explain to them the solution to their problems, and then they argue with you, as if you don't represent the company that they're talking to. It's like, I don't know how to peel a banana. Well, you have to take it from the top and peel it in. I don't think that's correct. I work for bananas. Periodically, I'm going to be addressing you guys with the wretched, terrible stories of customer service and, you know, events that happen around the world and things of that nature. And, you know, sometimes I'll play with this little DeLorean. But, like, it's cool because, like, the wheels go down and it becomes, like, aqua. Yeah, I got cool trinkets on my desk. What do you have? A paperweight? <laughs> but anyway, enough about the DeLorean. From the world of customer service news, apparently Pompeii has lots of preserved graffiti that uh, commemorates life in the ancient city before the big volcanic melting. One of the quotes were, Two friends were here. While they were, they had bad service in every way from a guy named Ephroditus. They threw him out and spent 105 and a half sestery, most agreeably on whores. <laughs> That's what was preserved. The city burnt down, volcanic eruption, a lot of people died, and when people were excavating this site, this is what people saw. It's in Pompeii, you can go find that. That's still there. It's there. That means people still know this guy sucked. You know, a bad review on Yelp is one thing. Somebody can get butt hurt because you didn't cook their chicken the right way. They can go to hell. If this lasted a volcanic eruption, then obviously it was meant to be seen. That's how bad it was. Before you uh, anger somebody being a patron to your business, maybe you should think about how long that bad comment's gonna be there. It's like a zit that never goes away, a blackhead that somebody neglected because they have scabies and they're dirty and they didn't wash themselves. And they're trying to push it out, they're trying to push it out, and it's just, it's just sitting there oozing, 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 but it's not going out. That's what this is. If you want to piss somebody off, watch out, because you're going to have a nice oily blackhead that's never going to burst. It's just going to sit there and fester, just like your dreams. Do you have customers? Then you need live help now. Turning disgruntled customer service workers like me into saints since 2003.